With the Zmodeler brush selected, hover over a poly and press spacebar to open up the Zmodeler poly menu. Locate the poly group action. Underneath the poly group action, you'll see a series of targets and then a series of modifiers down at the bottom, which will determine how the actual poly group will be applied. By default, the poly group is set to a target of a single poly and one group ID. With it set like this, just hover over a poly and click, and you will generate a new poly group on the poly you click on. At any time, if you want to change the poly group that you are applying, just simply click and hold, and while holding your pen to your tablet or your mouse button down, tap Alt and it will cycle to a new poly group. Then you can continue on clicking and assigning poly groups. If you come across a time when you want to actually keep this poly group here and apply it elsewhere, simply come over a poly group you want to copy, click, and while clicking and holding the mouse or pen down, hold Shift, and you will now copy that poly group. Now with this poly group copied, now simply click on any other poly groups and that poly group will be applied. To do that function one more time, just hover over a poly group you want to copy, click and then hold shift, and that will now store that poly group in the Zmodeler brush. And now when you click again, it will apply that poly group. Now if I hit spacebar to open up the Zmodeler poly menu again, down here you have quite a few more options or modifiers for the actual poly group action. These ones down here will automatically generate poly grouping based on the surface of your model. So if I come to the target here and select all polygons instead of a single poly, then I'm going to come through and select three sides. Now if I come to my model and just click on any poly, it's going to apply new poly grouping across the entire model and give me a poly group per axis. So I'm getting a poly group down the X, a poly group down a Y, and a poly group down the Z. So you can see these areas that are all facing the Z direction right through here are all the same poly group. And then the ones that are actually down the X axis are all the same poly group. Now there is another option which is six sides. And this will do a similar process to the poly grouping you just saw, except for the fact that it will apply a different poly group on the positive X and the negative X, and a different poly group on the positive Y and the negative Y, and a different poly group for the positive Z and the negative Z. You go back into Spacebar, you have a few other options in here, and these will just vary your poly grouping based on different procedures. So you have topological, poly order, point order, relative plus one, relative minus one, and checker. The checker option is pretty interesting because it will apply a checkered poly group across your mesh. If you would like to change the checker that it's actually applying, just click, and while you're clicking, tap Alt, and you will get a new checkered poly group applied to your model. Finally, you have modifiers down here, which is the additive and the pick existing. These are the same processes we kind of just explained, but the actual buttons for them. So if you'd like to pick an existing poly group rather than holding shift, you can come down here and select it like so. You also have an option for the amount of coverage to apply the poly group to, and this will just determine the coverage based on your actual angle values that appear on your model. So you just come through and apply different poly groups to your models as needed, and then using these different targets of poly group options here, you can use these poly groups to further deform your model as you work.